recording in progress. Welcome to the 41st staging of Multiple District 60 Convention. It's a wonderful feeling to be joining you wherever you are to bring you this event. We've got a very packed and exciting program for you this evening. So I urge you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. I'm Dion John, 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 and I am joined by my co host and MC for this evening, Lion Arrow, we MJM Pass District Go Go. Good evening, Lion Arrow, and how are you? Very well, and it's so good to be hearing you at last. I've been watching you for the last couple of minutes. No need to worry, we've got it all sorted out. You know, I was checking out the meaning of virtual, and really, it means almost. So we're almost on time, and we're nearly seeing each other, but we really are. And so, all's well that begins well. So, good evening to you again, and to my fellow lions, Leos, and guests. I'm Lionel Rowley, and I'm elated to see so many of you online, virtually, joining us for this historic convention, originally scheduled for the beautiful island of St. Martin, but is now being held virtually because we're in the middle of this COVID-19 <coughs> pandemic. Yes, yes, Landy on. The program promises to be a very exciting one with captivating speeches from renowned speakers and the parade of flag ceremony. So please stand wherever you are and face well, the virtual flag as we listen to the national anthems of St. Martin and Jamaica, after which I ask you to remain standing for the invocation by Lion Canon Michael Allen. Find an island there So lovely small With nations free With people French and Dutch Though talking English much As the St. Martin in the sea Oh sweet St. Martin's land So bright by beach and strand With Chains of mountains green, variously in sunlight sheen. Oh, I love that paradise, nature's beauty fairly nice. Oh, I love that paradise, nature's beauty fairly nice. How Pretty between all green, flamboyant beaming green, of flowers red, by sunlight set, by cows and sheep and goats, in meadows are on roads, thy donkey's king, I can't forget, oh sweet St. Martin's land, so bright by beach and strand. On the sea and harbors free, where the chains of mountains green, variously in sunlight sheen. Oh, I love that paradise, nature's beauty fairly nice. Oh, I love that paradise, nature's beauty fairly nice. And I love thy name In which Columbus fame And memories of old are closed For me a great delight Thy southern cross the night May God the Lord protect thy coast Oh sweet St. Martin's land So bright by beach and strand on the sea and harbors free where 
the chains of mountains ring variously in sunlight sheen oh I love thy paradise nature's beauty fairly nice oh I love thy paradise nature's beauty fairly standing for the invocation. Let us, Let pray. us pray. O God, o God as, as we, we meet, meet in what, what for us, us is a second, second year of the COVID, COVID pandemic, pandemic, with its changes, with its changes uncertainties, and yet opportunities. We are conscious of your presence, O oh God, providing that lifeline of fellowship through the unpredictability of the particular season of time. We are conscious that you are holding up the lamp of hope that beckons the land's movement to arise stronger and more energized and giving us the courage to know that we can be even more generous with our time, talent, and treasure than we ever imagined. As we meet in this virtual multiple district 60 convention. Let us be grateful that you have called us all to leadership, both those present in our virtual convention and our fellow members who serve in our clubs but are absent from the convention. Let us be renewed in the knowledge that there is nothing greater than service as we seek to emulate Christ Jesus through the land's movement, as we serve without boundaries. MD60, building bridges of collaboration through diversity. We ask all this as we lift up this convention to you and ask for your blessings upon its proceedings by the power of the Holy Spirit, as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Van Cannon Michael. Alan, you may be seated. And as, <clears throat> as um, we heard the invocation just now from our Lion Cannon, I couldn't help but remember Lan Colton Bennett, past district governor, who 
for so many, many, many conventions would have led us in prayer. And uh, we, we pray for him at this time and hope that he is in very good health. We are this evening honored by the presence of the Prime Minister of St. Martin, the Honorable Silveria Jacobs, who will be addressing us later on in the program. There she is. We also have the privilege of having with us past international directors, Nicole and Carol Moore, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, and uh, Terry Boswell Innes, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow. Of course, we have the host of our convention, the council chairperson, Lion Denise Forrest, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, in our midst, District Governors 60A, Lion Denise Bentnick, Melvin Jones Fellow, and Lion Maureen Graham, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow of 60B. Multiple District Global Action Team Coordinators. Hi, District Governor. They popped you up there, yes? She's, you know, that's, that one is Lion Maureen from 60B, okay. Uh, we have multiple district global action team coordinators with us, immediate past council chairpersons, and immediate past district governors. We have our district governors elect, and uh, vice district governors elect, multiple district committee chairpersons, past council chairpersons, and past district governors, lions, Leo's and our very special guests dispersed across the Caribbean. So it's my pleasure to say welcome and I hope you will have a very interesting and wonderful evening. It will be a new experience for all of us. So at this time, let us welcome our council chairperson, Land Denise Forrest, progressive Melvin Jones fellow to welcome you appropriately. Thank you, Lion Errol. Honorable Prime Minister Silveria Jacobs, Prime Minister of St. Martin, Past International Directors, Lion Nicolin Carol Moore, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, Lion Terry Boswell Innes, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, Members of the Council of Governors, District Governor 60A, Lion Denise Bentick, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, and Lion Maureen Graham, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow. Other distinguished Leo and Lion leaders in the virtual audience, Leo's guest, my fellow Lions, good evening. Mine is the privilege to welcome you to our 41st Multiple District Convention, a convention like none other in our history to date, as it is the first time that we will be hosting a virtual convention in its totality. And so I confess at this time and in this moment that I am feeling a range of emotions. I am deeply honored and humbled to have the responsibility to lead the multiple district at this time and in this unique occasion. This evening is more than an opening ceremony. I would suggest that it is a significant juncture as we turn a new page into the world of virtual progress. A new page, a new chapter, and new opportunities. So this evening is history in the making. 
and we all gathered across the multiple district individually and collectively are part of writing this new chapter. A chapter that will lead us into new experiences. My wish for you all is that you will embrace and revel in this new experience and be thankful because it provides us and provides many within our multiple district an opportunity to experience for the first time a multiple district convention. I'm also excited and full of anticipation for what I hope will be a wonderful time of connecting in new and different ways. Yes, we will not see each other face to face, but we will be connected. There will be opportunities for interaction and full participation. Don't miss out. Ask questions in workshops. Share your views. And don't miss the entertainment and a chance to kick back a bit, to chill, and to dance the night away. On behalf of the Council of Governors and the Planning Committee, I extend a very special welcome to each and every Leo and Lan who are present in the virtual audience. Your presence makes a difference and makes this occasion worthwhile. We are simply overjoyed. We have worked hard to please you and we hope that as the days unfold, we will succeed. Let us embrace the experience as we continue to build bridges of collaboration through diversity. Enjoy the evening. Welcome and thank you. Thank you, Lan Council. Chairperson, Denise. Without further ado, I'm going to take you to the beautiful island of St. Martin, where we will virtually be for the next couple of minutes, because that's where the convention would have been held had it been not virtual. So, St. Martin, let us see what we are missing as we say good evening to you and uh, invite you to transport us virtually to your beautiful island. Welcome to my St. Martin, sweet St. Martin land, a land of gastronomical delight, a culture filled with passion and rhythm and color and texture. This is St. Martin, my sweet St. Martin. Welcome to the friendly island, sweet St. Martin land. Fellow Lions, Leos and guests, on behalf of Council Chair Lion Denise Paris, President Melvin Jones Fellow, the Multiple District 60 Convention Organizing Committee, the St. Martin Lions Club, the St. Martin South Omega Leo Club, and the St. Martin Alpha Leo Club. We extend a warm welcome to everyone to the Multiple District 60 Convention. Welcome to the beautiful shores of our tropical paradise, St. Martin the Friendly Island. We hope that your experience at this MD60 Convention will be exciting, spectacular, and unforgettable. Welcome. Bien Welcome. Welcome to St. Martin!
Sweet St. Martin Land, your home away from home. Your memories created here are timeless. Until we meet again, my island awaits you with open arms. Martin, I think you got a virtual round of applause for that spectacular. <laughs> yes, that I saw. I saw some past governors and some future ones dancing, and uh, the, the tail twist in me got very excited. But of course, that will have to just go down in the book. And when we meet again, Saint Martin, be prepared to pay. Excellent. In multiple District 60, lions are committed to the international purpose of lionism. We are also proud of the flags which represent our various countries. There is only one other district, District 403 in Africa, which can boast of having so many independent nations whose flags are represented in the international spirit of lionism as a member of a multiple district. And the flag The flag demonstrates that we are achieving the very first of lionism to create and foster a spirit of understanding among the peoples of the world. The flags we honor today are a testimonial to the determination of our membership to affirm the meaning of international Lionism.
The flags will be presented in the reverse order in which their countries or islands were admitted to the association. We will then present the flag of Lions Clubs International and finally the flag of our host country. Friends of Lionism, Leos, my fellow Lions, also is traditional. There will be a drum roll when your flag is being presented. Please stand and show your enthusiasm when your flag is introduced to your fellow international citizens of multiple District 16. Let, Let us see the flag of the nations of multiple District 16. Presenting the flag of Anguilla is joined in 1979. Presenting the flag of the Cayman Islands, 1972. Presenting the flag of St. Eustatius, 1972. Send them back. 
Presenting the flag of St. Martin, 1970. Presenting the flag of Dominica, also 1968. Presenting the flag of the United States Virgin Islands, 1966.
presenting the flag of Jamaica, 1965. Presenting the flag of the Republic of Trinidad and Tobago, 1962. Presenting the flag of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, 1960. Surya, 
Now, let us recognize the flag which carries the emblem of our association, the flag which symbolizes the goals and ideals of the world, presenting the flag of the International Association of Lions Clubs. Please stand. Okay. virtual head table, guests, Leos, lands. we all now should be standing and saluting the flags presented here today. You may be seated. It's time now for some entertainment as we promised you. Michael Wilson is one of Jamaica's most gifted violinists. Music has been his passion since he was a young boy growing up in Jamaica's second city, Montego Bay. The guitar was his first love until grade nine when his physics teacher introduced him to the violin. Largely self-taught, Michael went on to represent his school at several competitions and is today a popular artist on the North Coast on the hotel circuit and is well sought after for social events and special occasions such as this one. In his own words, Michael is string-spired. Let us, let us enjoy this live and direct, not just virtually. Help me welcome Michael Wilson, violinist.
Bravo, bravo, bravo. And um, it brings back memories of the reggae orchestra. Yes? So I don't think Michael was born yet, but um, the sound of strings and violins playing good reggae music is a wonderful combination. Thanks, Michael. And um, he says to apologize for the little hiccup earlier, but in this electronic age, he had to hear himself. So that is a delayed apology, but I think it was worth it in the end. So we are now at the stage where Dion, how are you doing? Very well, how about you? Currently serving as Prime Minister, Sylvia Jacobs is a passionate educator dedicated to working for the people of St. Martin, with a focus on the well-being of the St. Martin community and the general affairs of the country. She foresees St. Martin as a country affording maximum growth, where family is the core of society, and is threatened to promote high moral and cultural values. Her desire is to empower the people of St. Martin to realize their strength in determining their own life journey and thereby change their circumstances through education, work experience, and philanthropy. A dedicated Sylvia Jacob served as Minister of Education, Culture, Youth, and Sports from May 2012 to June of 2013, and then elected as a member of parliament from October 2014 until November of 2015, at which time she was appointed Minister of Education, Culture, Youth and Sports, having been re-elected in August of 2016. Ms. Jacobs humbly retained her post as minister until January of 2018 and was then elected as a member of parliament from April 2018 until November of 2019. Ms. Jacobs was sworn in as interim Prime Minister of St. Martin on November 19th, 2020. And after the recent elections in January, she was sworn in as Prime Minister and Minister of General Affairs on March 28th, 2020. I'm now invite to the lectern Council Chairperson, Lion Dennis Forrest, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow. Thank you, Lion Dion. Leos, my fellow lions, please be upstanding as we welcome the Honorable Lion from the St. Martin Lions Club, the Honorable Prime Minister of St. Martin, Silveria Jacobs. With protocols being observed, I wish my fellow lions, Leos, and all those present a blessed and productive good evening. I would like to take this time to extend my humble thanks to the, each and every member of the Lions Club in the multiple districts for giving so much of yourselves to the community. As Prime Minister and Minister of General Affairs, I would like to let you know that Government of St. Martin is fully aware and filled with gratitude for the many contributions the Lions Club and Leos have made throughout the years, especially within the health sector in your respective countries and on our blessed island nation, St. Martin. It gave me great pleasure to witness that video and hear our anthem, even though we are all attending this convention from various locations virtually via the internet. I have been made aware that the St. Martin Lions Club, as many clubs within the districts, and this one is one that I am proud to be an honorary one, member of, has achieved and conducted the following. On December 12th, 2020, the Lions Club of St. Martin celebrated 50 years of service since its induction. On May 22nd of this year, the St. Martin Lions Club witnessed and celebrated the election of its fourth district governor of District 60B, Lion Claudio Boncamper, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow. Lion Boncamper, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow, will be serving as district governor from July 1st, 2021 
until June of 2022. This is yet another significant achievement for St. Martin as we can now boast of having four persons from our tiny island, St. Martin, who have served in this capacity as district governor. I am super proud of Lion Claudio and my heartfelt congratulations goes out to you, District Governor Lion Claudio Boncamper, Progressive Melvin Jones Fellow and his team on this great achievement. The Lions Club has adapted to virtual platforms to hold these types of conferences, to engage in regular meetings, as well as trainings that develop the skills of their members. The St. Martin's Lion Club has ensured that though there may be a lack of funding, this will not deter our efforts to serve the community. As such, instead of reinventing the wheel to raise funds, we have teamed up with other clubs, such as the Rotary Sunset Club, just last year in October, and were able to organize a joint food project, whereby we visited various districts to provide warm meals and groceries to our most vulnerable affected by the pandemic. Although known for organizing the annual health and wellness fair, Lions Club has not been able to bring this event to our community since the COVID-19 pandemic has hit. And of course, due to our current health protocols and restrictions. However, I am sure that the active members, stakeholders and community look forward to this being possible in the coming years. Considering this, the Lions Club has teamed up with the Electrolytes Foundation and the Positive Foundation to bring a health awareness on prostate cancer info session for men. This event will take place on June 19th with local testimonials. And as such, the men in our community are encouraged to take advantage of this art opportunity and participate to be informed about your health. The COVID-19 pandemic has ensured that governments all over the world realize the necessities to continue supporting civil society and particularly nonprofit organizations. I often say that developing a country is complex, but requires us all working together and relying on the pure kindness of the individual citizen. So with your generosity and invaluable contributions in mind, the government of St. Martin vows to continue to create an enabling environment through which the Lions Club locally, regionally, and internationally can continue to play that most important role as a community service club serving the most vulnerable in our society. I am extremely grateful and thankful to have the opportunity to join you even in this virtual space, even as I am executing my duties here in the Netherlands. However, it's important that I not defer from the task which I have committed to as an honorary lion and humble to be asked to bring this address. It is important for us to reflect on how COVID-19 with all its limitations has shown us ways to be adaptable, to be flexible in meeting and sharing ideas without limits via this platform. And this allows me to segue seamlessly into the convention's theme. Service without boundaries, multiple District 60 building bridges of collaboration through diversity. Quite a mouthful, I must say. But I would like to get into that topic by reflecting on two words, service and boundaries taken from the theme for this convention. Service can mean so many things in the different context. However, service really refers to actions or helping or doing work for someone, while boundaries represent a point or a level beyond which something does not or may not extend or pass. So service without boundaries, in my opinion, translates into helping or assisting 
without a level that is considered beyond or too much, too far, and yes, even beyond boundaries. An integral Lions Club is an organization beyond borders, beyond cultural barriers, with many members working worldwide together for the good of all humanity. This is even more important in today's reality, now that our world has realized that crises do not operate in a vacuum. What touches one group of people touches the other. And at this point, we all can have empathy for what goes on in a crisis. At present, we are all facing similar challenges. And so it would be cumbersome to try to reinvent the wheel. In truth, the same song of globalization and integration has forced us to not just embrace our differences, but to actually look for a deeper and a better understanding of our different societies. When we look at the word diversity, it means practicing or the quality of inclusion and including and involving people from a range of different social, ethnic, different genders, sexual orientation, et cetera. We know what that diversity is an important element of collaboration because it fosters an environment of inclusion and trust. When we look towards working together, the most important facet of any partnership is the extent to which we can trust each other. We need to be able to trust that our partners have our best interests at heart, that our opinions, our struggles, and our need to be heard is respected. The extent to which we can acknowledge our difference, our differences, as well as our uniqueness in the context of our different circumstances gives us a platform for good communication and collaboration. Because in truth, there is no one size fit all solution, even as we face similar problems, especially right here in the Caribbean region. There are no two Caribbean countries that are exactly the same, no matter how small we may be. Our differences may be significant, but we most definitely have more in common. Culturally, the Caribbean region and its people are diverse in every aspect, from its earliest history to present day, from its natural resources, its variations in culture, as well as in hues, textures, and personalities of its people. It is further fundamental that we remain an inclusive people. Ensuring that we work together or when we provide service, ensure that no one group of persons, not one, is left out. So when we think about service without boundaries and about working together, for those that are the most vulnerable in our com community, through being inclusive, sharing resources and embracing our differences of opinion and culture, it is safe to say that the Lions Club and other service organizations have provided a framework that is fitting for the world, that the world can take example from. Even amidst an ongoing pandemic, we have become more innovative, resilient and resolute in our commitment to continue to experience the sharing of knowledge, policies, and processes within our global network, all for the benefit of those who are the most vulnerable. Indeed, COVID-19 has altered the way we work, has altered the way we live. And for the Lions Club, I know it has impacted the way we are able to help our communities. When we look at the Lions Club motto, it is simply, we serve. Two extremely powerful words. We, speaking of cohesion and serve. We serve. 
how we serve in today's reality matters even more, makes the biggest difference and has the greatest impact for those who need it most. And that group has grown as a result of the pandemic. Their gratitude, the individual beneficiaries, gratitude is beyond our wildest imagination and goes a long way in fulfilling our need to simply serve and to serve with humility, to serve with inclusion, to serve beyond boundaries. Multiple District 60, continue to be united in kindness, united in diversity, and united in a common goal of service aimed at building bridges of collaboration through diversity. In closing, I do encourage each and every one of you service-minded people in this convention today to embrace your differences in order to continue to build trust, inclusivity, and serving together beyond borders and without boundaries, and continuing to seek to defy any limitations that may still exist and do its best to hamper our service. Again, I would like to take this opportunity to thank you for the honor extended to me in the invitation to join you and to speak with you here today. I hope that my point of view, the, 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 the ideas that I've shared would have given you at least some perspective and appreciation from a governmental perspective of the invaluable service you give to St. Martin and as all of the MD60 to your individual communities as well as our global community. Keep up the good work. Keep on serving with humility and inclusivity. God bless District 60, multiple District 60. As Honorary Lion and Prime Minister of St. Martin, I hereby declare the 41st Multiple District 60 Convention open. May your deliberations be fruitful and lead to stronger bridges built on the diversity of each and every participant. God bless you. Thank you, Honorable Prime Minister, Silveria Jacobs. And now we know why the people of St. Martin continue to vote for you. And we know also why the Lions Club of St. Martin has ensured that you are in an honorary land. Thank you and God bless you too. And uh, that concludes our opening ceremony, except for me to say thanks to all those who made it possible. And of course, to advise you of upcoming events. Um, tomorrow evening, we will have a workshop, first workshop tomorrow evening at six o'clock Jamaica time, seven Eastern Caribbean, with past international director, Lion Tom Gordon. The theme, Our Members Matter. The other workshop tomorrow will be the changing face of service during and post COVID-19. So don't miss out on these. On Friday, that's tomorrow, that's Friday. The following day, Saturday at 9.45 a.m. Eastern Caribbean time, we will hear from International Director, Dr. Jung Yul Choi, and he will send a message from the International Association to us directly. The workshop on, on Saturday will be uh, a Leo, uh, the, the Leos will have a workshop entitled An Investment in Our Future. Leos, An Investment in Our Future. So it's for all of us to see how the Leos will uh, become the lands of the future. And we are seeing it now because to the best of my knowledge, the incoming, all the incoming district governors were former Leos. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. so sign of the times. Membership, let's take a good honest look 
at membership. That will be another workshop also on Saturday. And there will be a third one. How can we benefit from a district that has gender parity? We, we have the distinction in the, in the multiple districts of um, being an example to the rest of the world that women are empowered and indeed lead the way. So we don't have to catch, the women don't have to play catch up in, in, in uh, multiple district 60. In fact, very soon it might be the other way around, right? Okay, so that is, those are the workshops that we'll be having. And of course, you don't want to miss our keynote speaker who will speak to us on Sunday at two o'clock. This will be the Prime Minister of Barbados, the Honorable Maya Motley. And that will be uh, a, a speech we're going miles for. Beautiful that you don't even have to leave your house. You can stay right there, make sure you are um, registered and uh, tuned in to the convention, this multiple district convention for the first, which is in the virtual space. And so, the highlight of our evening here, yes, uh, some musicians who have been flexing their muscles and uh, practicing, we had, to, we had to put them in a different room. But they're here with us now. Let us hear from the steel, the steel band of the RSI. Okay, put your hands together as we are entertained by some fabulous steel band music. 